Hello everyone, uh, I'll be creating a playlist containing React.js and React Native interview questions, uh, practical interview questions particularly and uh, uh, in recent times I have gone through different interviews, I, I got to see good number of questions on React.js and React Native uh, inter uh, interview questions. These uh, playlist contains particularly of practical interview questions. So the first question goes like this. Uh, I'll be given an API, okay, uh, which contains these all details. And what we what we need to do is, we need to show a list containing the name of the uh, name and the email ID. And um, what what the interviewer asked me is like uh, name should be on the left side and the uh, email should be on the right side of the React Native app like that he asked. So yeah, let's uh, go ahead and create this particular. Uh, app so here um, here like we uh, the first thing that we need to consider is we need to get the data from the api and then we need to show the data on our screen uh, so like for showing the data uh, let's let's go ahead and code it at for at least uh, getting the data okay so here let me check whether my react native app is working or not Mm, here I have this uh, templates you can see directly what uh, I mean uh, this these are online uh, compilers or editors uh, okay uh, so here this is uh, react native code sandbox and we can have like all it's always better to have these bookmark like online java compiler js bin for javascript compilation and then for react js compilation react native compilation it's always uh, better to have it uh, have these kind of uh, online compilers bookmark so that we can easily uh, um, we can easily um, open up these when the interview so here uh, we was showing we are trying to show the text and here it is um, yeah so now comes our question uh, like we need to get the data from this particular API okay so how can we get like whenever we render the component we need like whenever the component gets called this particular uh, data from this particular API will be uh, coming and we will be storing that in our state and then we will be showing it okay so how uh, this is the best way actually how we are doing that is um, we have to uh, fetch this data in our use effect okay because uh, use effect will be called whenever our components is uh, rendered for the first time uh, like yeah rendered so here i'm calling use effect and here i'm giving an empty dependency array because we wanted this use effect to be called only once uh, while rendering the component so we are giving an use uh, empty dependency array and uh, here we will be fetching the data um, here we are yep uh, i'll be copying this and then paste it here uh, and yeah. then now we have to store this right um, so here from here we are getting some data from this particular api let's suppose uh, content we are getting and here like we will be uh, transforming that content into json format yeah json format it's a promise right so we are uh, resolving with them basically so now comes uh, we we have to show this particular content uh, so uh, data i'm taking a uh, state and set the data for setting the state of this particular data use state use state and here uh, let's suppose i'm using this now um, let's assume that you know i'll be pasting this particular here just uh, because you know, we wanted to be sure whether it is here i'm keeping fake data and then email also fake email we're keeping let's suppose okay so here till here we got uh, the data in json format 
and now we have to resolve it and we have to set that in our state okay uh, so uh, content data and then we are setting it set data content data okay we are setting it here so at last after this is a call everything will be stored in our um, in our uh, this particular state okay let's suppose i wanted to console it maybe um, yeah no console is not needed at least like for checking we can console it somewhere maybe we can call a function and we can uh, console it here uh, as well uh, so now what i am gonna do is uh, i wanted to check whether uh, data is coming up or not so data uh, zero array dot name i'm following i'm checking so here we are we are having this particular data so here we are keeping the fake name fake data but still whatever because uh, we are setting uh, this we are setting data from this api so whatever content in this api should be shown here so the name is as uh, as mentioned this is the name so it is showing correctly now uh, what other things we need to show other than name name and email right so let's suppose uh, data dot email so these two things are being shown yeah great um, so now we have to show every data like every data uh, every user data in a list view right so for showing that we have different op options like we can use a scroll view and then we can map uh, map the data and we can show this structure of lists uh, in our app and that is one way and we can use flat list uh, flat list for showing our data so here what we have to choose is at the point uh, we have to choose flat list first to for showing this particular data because why why because uh, if we use scroll view right whenever our component renders total total the data in this particular state will be rendered with the, like will be rendered on our screen okay uh, but what we wanted we don't wanted all the data to be rendered we wanted at least the data that is visible should be rendered first okay that is the reason in flat list what will happen is uh, only the content that is visible on the screen will be rendered um, and when we scroll down it will render the remaining uh, remaining data that needs to be rendered on our particular screen okay so this is very much efficient for showing uh, this kind of data on us on our screen so we are going to use flat list for showing our data so let's go ahead and implement a flat list um, so here um, here I am implementing here I'm implementing flat list uh, so flat list So there are some default um, parameters for a flat list okay what are those parameters okay so the parameters are data data is one such parameter okay um, data is a parameter and then render 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 item is one other parameter that we need to use okay um, render item mm. and then key extractor For knowing these things we need to like refer documentation okay uh, what kind of parameters are there and all so I'm well aware of this so I'm not checking the documentation but if you wanted you can go ahead and check uh, documentation of what what the things are there here this is also a function so 
uh, if we will be giving item item and then we will be taking id out of it ID. okay so yeah um, now comes our render item okay uh, yeah we need to show how our item should be rendered right so render item and then what is the render item there is a instead of the show i think we should use this uh, now comes uh, this part while rendering we need to return what we wanted right uh, we are we wanted to return um, maybe uh, if you are something like let's suppose uh, maybe text okay we wanted to return a text uh, yeah this text let's suppose we want to return this text mm. so now what what gonna happen yeah this one is uh, different we need to perfectly structure it here render is there and then render item inside this render item we need to take item okay and then we need to show this item here uh, let's suppose item dot name item dot name and then item dot email email we need to take these things this is not needed and item we are given and then um, here we are getting our items okay uh, so if we wanted this in a different different way then you know we can have it in a different way as well um, maybe this time we wanted only email and then name and email and then we will put it in a you know uh, a fragment or here we are not putting it in a fact let's suppose here we are putting it in another view so that it will be you know we will be returning only one uh, component we're getting getting one like we in JSX we need to return only single uh, single element basically here after putting uh, this it it will be only a single fragment so we are returning it that way here we are getting the name and then the email right so here this data I'm taking it off so here we are getting the name and then the email name and the email uh, for all the different users now what they asked us they asked us to show these uh, in a kind of list view okay and then uh, the name of the user should be left side and the email should be right side right so now what we are going to do is we are going to separate these things uh, let's suppose here is a mobile view okay uh, now hmm, let's suppose we can have a separator or something like that i'm, I'm writing another component Uh, I'm trying to separate it. I'm writing another component as separator for separating these things. Okay. Mm. Constant separator. Okay. And now we will be returning a new view which is separating as our okay how it's gonna separate is a point okay now style style equal to st 
style dot separate I have to show this uh, separator right I have to separate it without styling so border bottom border bottom with one and then I'm giving bottom color or something border bottom color is not needed maybe let's support suppose giving red or green or whatever we want it okay so we can give it black as well uh, let's say so now I have a separator and uh, it's fine but then now the point is we wanted this email on the right side right so now I have to give a style for this mm. size dot email align this is the styling that I'm giving for aligning this email to right side text text align right so here we have we have aligned this text towards right so yeah it's completed mm, this is uh, the question one in the later sessions i'll be covering uh, uh, some other different questions and um, if you if you have any queries please feel free to comment it out i'll be clearing out your doubts uh, thank you very much